Happy Sunday, it is a new week and welcome to my next weekly vlog. So if you watched last week's vlog, I left off talking about the Linked Horizon Attack on Titan show. So today, Sunday is Taiko days. So we have Taiko practice in the morning, it's Japanese driving, you could see more on my past video here. But I woke up and was getting ready for practice and then I heard Yes, Roy was blasting the Linked Horizon show again, bright and early in the morning. And he decided to bust out the melodica and play it. I spent the day listening to Roy practice the melodica, which was really fun but I'm pretty sick still, so I am going to try to take it easy the rest of the day, get a little bit of work done, but mostly try to get this out of my system. As far as the rest of the week, I think it's gonna be a pretty chill week since I still am under the weather and I need to catch up on a lot of stuff, but I am making some time to see some friends, so you'll hopefully get to meet them in here too. I also think I'm gonna give you a little bit more about my cats this week, since a lot of people seem to enjoy them because, hey, they're pretty cool, especially Chad. And yeah, let's get this week started and see how it goes. Roy and I got a bunch of puzzles and we finished this Howl's Moving Castle one a while back and we got a bunch more because we want to put them all up on the wall. This is a Kiki's delivery service one. It's really pretty. This is a small Porco Rosso one. This is another long Mononoke Hime one, Princess Mononoke. And this one is from Tonari no Totoro. Totoro. So we're gonna start on another one today. Which one do you wanna do? Maybe I either wanna do Kiki or Totoro. So we're gonna make the Totoro one. This is Mei and Satsuki's house. About this much done today, but it's mostly Roy because I'm cooking dinner and I did this and some of this. Good morning everyone, it is now Monday. Today I am heading to Long Beach to see my friend Kat. Kat is a lifestyle vlogger living in Hawaii, but she is originally from Southern California, from Long Beach, so she comes back and forth often, so I get to see her when she's here or when I'm in Hawaii. I haven't seen her in maybe like a year, maybe a little less than that. So I'm excited to catch up with her. She is in the midst of wedding planning. She just got engaged to Charles, her longtime boyfriend. They've been together for like 15 years. And he's coming too, so I'm excited to just get some really good quality catch-up time with them. We are gonna be getting coffee at The Merchant, which I haven't been to, but that is in like Northern Long Beach, uh, Bixby Knowles area. But it looks really cute and they have a nice menu of drinks and pastries, so hopefully it'll be fun. Many of you are aware that I have cats. I love cats, I love cat things, I am definitely the crazy cat lady. But I also realize I don't talk about them that much on this channel even though you see them here and there and I haven't done a proper introduction of these cats so I figured I would do a short intro of all of them today. Right now we have three cats living with us. The first one is my number one boy, Chad. He recently turned about 10 years old and I've had him since he was about two and a half months, so a very, very long time. He is a half Bengal, half tabby, so he is massive. He's like 17 or 18 pounds. But despite his size, he's extremely, extremely sweet. He's the type of cat that I tell people who don't like cats that they will actually like this cat. And it's true, a lot of people will tell you that they like Chad even though they don't like other cats. In Chad's world, he loves two things. One, 
being food, and two, being people. As far as people, Chad's interesting because you could tell sort of how he ranks people in preference too. Obviously, I am his number one, but I feel like Roy right now is battling for the number one spot. Chad loves him, and then it's like Jenny, and then it's sort of like other people. So Chad is just like me in that he gets really, really hangry. He will eat absolutely anything. He's missing most of his teeth, but he will like literally eat anything like he has all his teeth. He also has no sense of personal space. He wants to be all up in your business. Chad is extremely patient and loving. He's really great at raising kittens, so we call him Chad Dad. He also understands English pretty well, so you could talk to him in sentences and he'll respond or act accordingly. He is the most boring looking out of all the cats I think we have. He has like really bad resting bitch face, but personality wise, he is so cool, so chill, so smart, and just a really cool friend. Our next cat is Kasha. She just turned about three and she is also a rescue. She is also some sort of either low-grade Bengal or Bengal mix, we're not sure, um, but there is also still some Bengal in her. Her name Kasha comes from a yokai, which is like a Japanese spirit. In Japanese folklore, Kasha is a supernatural being that looks sort of like a cat and it pulls a burning chariot and it collects dead bodies and takes it to the sky. I named her that because I wanted her to be strong and spunky, but instead we got a princess, but she is pretty sassy. Kasha does have stranger danger, but she does come out for some people or after she warms up. Um, she's also just sort of a like strange, likes to keep to herself cat. She's not so much a social cat. She likes Chad and like nothing else. She also loves her tart bed that Jenny bought and her toast bed. Like loves them. She wants to, when we pet her, she runs over because she wants to be pet in the tart or brushed in the tart. She loves it so much and she spends probably half her day every day on those. Another thing she loves more than anything in this universe is the laser pointer. She loves the laser. She loves playing with the laser. If you shake the laser, she'll come running from wherever she's in the house. So if she's hiding, the way to get her out is a laser. Typically though, during the day, she doesn't like hide all day long. She's not like a hiding cat. She only gets nervous if there's new people. Um, but even then, she doesn't really hide very hard. She'll just like go to a different room. So she's not necessarily like a scaredy cat. And our third cat is sort of a foster foster fail. Um, her name is Kiki. Disa, my roommate, uh, her work found her in their warehouse, so they trapped her and they were gonna take her to the shelter, but black cats usually get put down pretty fast, so Disa asked if we could bring her home and try to find her home. Unfortunately, we also found that black cats are hard to find new homes for, so we are just sort of stuck with her, which is fine because she is actually a really weird, weird, but good cat. She is super long and super skinny and likes to stretch herself out so she looks super weird. Kiki is also now probably just hating about a year. When we got her, she was about six months. So she has grown a lot, but she's tiny and has the teeniest little skinny paws. She's really social, she likes people, which is really interesting considering she was found on the street. And she also loves toys. She's really high energy because she's still young. Um, she could jump really high. She's very, 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 very athletic. She's probably one of the most athletic cats I've ever seen. But even though she's athletic, she is sort of dumb. She gets surprised by things she shouldn't be. She doesn't understand when you throw a toy and it stops somewhere like where it stopped. She can't find it and then gets really excited when she does find out an accident. And it's not because she's young. She's just like not the smartest cat, which is really endearing and cute though. She's easily our weirdest cat and we're still learning more about her. If you have cats, let me know in the comments. I love hearing about other people's cats. Um, you could also like DM me photos on Instagram. I love looking at other people's cats. If you go to my Instagram, I also post about them on stories and I also have a highlight that has past cat videos. Okay, but that is a quick intro of all of the cats. So now you know them and when you see them in other videos, you'll know more about them. So at Shinsengumi, which is a ramen chain, they have spicy miso that you could put in your ramen and they started selling these giant jars of their spicy miso like it's huge i really like their spicy miso and they gave me a bottle to do a recipe with and i'm gonna be making a spicy miso salmon burger since it is grilling season now it's summer and i'm gonna be adapting one of my favorite recipes that i make at home a lot 
to use this spicy miso. I'll link this recipe down below in the description if you want to try making it at home yourself. Ooh, that looks so good. This is what I'm using today. It's going to have the spicy miso in the salmon burger as well as making a spicy miso aioli to put on it. Kiki, does it sound good? Now I'm going to be meeting up with Risa, who you may know if you watch the channel Kawaii Kakui Sugoi, which is about Japanese pop culture. I've actually never met her before. We're sort of in the same industry, have a lot of mutual friends, and we do know each other from online. So I'm really, really excited to meet her. Today we're going to be meeting at Oko Cafe, which is a local boba shop, and it recently like redid its interior so it looks like it's hand drawn. I'm not really sure how to like explain it properly. It looks sort of like a hand drawn comic book, very 2D. Um, so they painted everything white and black, so it somehow looks 2D. It used to look like a club in there. It was so weird. It's like a boba shop, and they have like a yatai stand where they make taiyaki. But they also had like uns uns music and like purple and blue like um, neon lights. So I realized I'm gonna be late if I don't leave right now. So I'm gonna head to the cafe and I will see you guys there. Lisa's here. Yay, her hair is so cute. This is what it looks like inside. It is pretty cool. This is all the milk tea artwork. A ring light for the selfie corner and you can put your phone in here and take a picture.